Well, there's a couple of different ways in which we, we leverage it. We leverage it first and foremost to generate some of the ads. So we've developed generative AI that can help in email and in audio in particular. We think video, you know, Sora is very exciting, but it's not quite ready for prime time yet. Uh, but in audio and uh, in text, it's, it's wonderful, a huge time savers. It can also help agencies develop their briefs faster and really look at all their successful cases and leverage those to build the next brief or the next campaign. The second area is in delivering the messages. So I think one of the areas that I would disagree a little bit with the statement that it's just augmenting is we are seeing AI genuinely do something that humans can't do. So we're seeing campaigns where we have hundreds of versions of ads running in video, digital display, or audio where there might have been three or four before. And it just wouldn't have been efficient or, or even something that you could manage to do without AI doing it. And what happens when you have more versions is you have more inclusivity. Yeah. You, you, it's really designed to help get the right message to the right person. We found in the Monday.com research that different people responded to a male voiceover versus a female voiceover. And even the way that they responded depending, depended on the time of day, what, what context they're on, what website they're on, and so forth. And AI can learn that dynamically in real time, where if you were doing this with humans, you would wait a week or month uh, to look at the Excel data, to look at it in charts and make a decision, but AI is doing that instantaneously. Yeah. Yeah. So that's genuinely a new capability. That's why we're seeing marketers doubling their effectiveness of advertising is because we are doing something that humans on their own couldn't do. Right.